Hi everyone, Stefan here from Sybil's AI, and I wanted to do an update video about some of the work we've been doing recently with automating document management on construction projects. Uh, I just want to jump into some of the things we've been working on recently. The first thing I wanted to talk about was uh, scan documents table data. So as I'm sure you're aware many construction projects use lots of scan documents, lots of tables, charts. So what I have here is some open source documents that are freely available online on the Burj Khalifa. And as you'll see, these are scan documents. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to upload this to everyone's favorite uh, AI app, it seems, ChatGPT. And then I'm going to ask it to, to create a uh, table of the pile test results. So I already know that this document has a table at the back, which is uh, on the pile test, pile testing. And I want it to try and like read that table out to me. So it's going to start working away. And then at the same time, I'm going to ask the same question uh, in Sybil's AI. So I'm going to get them both working away. Uh, so this one started, it's searching the project. Uh, and then I'm going to look at uh, ChatGPT. So basically it's saying here that this document you provided is scanned. Uh, yeah, that's correct. And that it can't basically read this um, because of that reason. So this is because reading this document isn't an OCR problem. It's a machine learning problem. It's not so straightforward. Um, and here you see we've generated this table. Um, this is the going to be the foundation design document here. And it's opening up and showing me where that information's come from. I can actually go a bit further than this. I've already tested a question. So I can go a little bit further than this and I can ask it to actually like filter on this table. So I only want the piles that are between 60 millimeters and 22 millimeters. So it understands this table. I'm just like proving here that it understands it quite well by sort of filtering information out from it. So you'll see here there's two piles. So with my own eyes, I can see 16 millimeters, uh, 20 millimeters. And so I just want it to find those two out of all of these other ones. So yeah, it's saying here only piles TP1, TP2. Uh, um, within that. So this is able to filter table data quite nicely. Um, I also, another thing, um, another sort of key difference is that here we can load up as many files as we have on the project. We can connect it into Autodesk Construction Cloud, SharePoint, uh, and it can search through multiple different documents. So you'll see here, this is the foundation design document that we've referenced here and the page number, page 12. But Actually, uh, what we're doing here is we're going to try and retrieve information from potentially a different document. So uh, I'm just asking this question generally. And OK, so it's picking up information in another document now as well. So the project overview. So here you can see the section that it's read from. And what I've got it to do here is something called chain of thought, which is where um, I know there's two different pieces of information. So uh, I wanted to calculate the foundation area, but I wanted to do that by using the concrete volume and the foundation depth. So what it's doing here is uh, using the volume, using the uh, thickness of the raft, and then using that to find the overall area. So it's doing a calculation here. Um, and it's from a different document. So it's picked up a different document. This could be of thousands in the document management system. And also, I know that there's going to be some reference to this uh, within the foundation uh, design. So what you can do here is by clicking this reveal all references button, this is a kind of control F feature on all of the documents on the project. I think the final thing I wanted to really touch on is also the privacy. So um, by using some of these uh, other applications uh, that are freely available online, uh, you can put the project data uh, you know, at the mercy of others. But what we can do with Sybil's AI is we can actually set it up to run on your own cloud. So if you're using something like Microsoft Copilot already within the organization, uh, we can run it within the same environment as that, actually. So we don't have to host any of the data ourselves. Um, yeah, that's the key updates for us. So uh, interested to hear what people think of some of these features.